Hi everyone, today we're back snow plowing. Guys, it's been one busy morning here. I've been in the plow truck since 4 a.m. I've plowed almost 25 driveways so far and we have uh, several more to do. Let's hop back in the truck here and finish up this driveway. Today guys, I am using my 2016 GMC 2500 single rear wheel, a long bed pickup truck here. This is a pretty good work truck, but like always guys, there is a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. This winter guys, the snow just keeps on coming here. This is our fourth storm within the last week and a half. And I've been staying super busy here. I've been in the plow truck almost every single day pushing snow it seems like. But hey, the more we're uh, plowing snow, the more money we're going to be making here. But we did pick up a brand new contract of the Ford dealership here in town, which is what we're going to be uh, heading towards now. We have a few more properties to do as we head on over. Having this GMC fully equipped with strobe lights sure does look good Don't, uh, going down the side of the road here. Looks like it is a bit slippery out. Seems like we're doing a little bit of fish tailing with the rear end here. I do have it in four high. Uh, hopefully we don't continue to keep sliding around here because that sure is not too safe here. But up next, guys, we have this garage uh, condo unit here. Independent business owners rent out these garages. And it looks like I already see some tire tracks here. So good thing we're coming by here first. Uh, it looks like many people are trying to get to their garage. The GMC sure is putting in the work here today. We are moving a lot of snow now. I just have a simple straight blade on this truck, not a, a V plow, not a fold out or anything like that. This is just a nine foot Western plow. I definitely want to see if we can get a V plow though, because I heard those are quite popular and you can move a lot of snow with that. But we have one more property here. It's actually the one in front of us here on this uh, side street. And then we could head on over to the Ford dealership. Snow plowing guys is a lot of fun here. It's one of my favorite things to do here, especially with the landscaping business. And talking about that guys, I think I might end up buying one of these GMCs because I really do like it. This truck is pretty sweet here. I really do like uh, the strobe lights and all the different features we could get on it here. And overall, it seems like it's a pretty good work truck. Guys, let me know down below in the comments if you do live in an area where you uh, have been getting snow. And if you do get snow, let me know how much snow have you gotten so far. I think I'm probably at about a foot of snow. And it looks like more snow is on the way over the next uh, few weeks here, which is super exciting. It's always great uh, to do some snow blowing, to go skiing, snowboarding, things like that. Just having a great time. Guys, this is going to be my first time plowing the Ford dealership, which I am super excited about. Although, uh, we definitely have to kind of uh, try our best here. Might be a, a little bit rusty because look at that, guys. There's so many Ford pickup trucks here. We got some bigger Super Duties here. We got some F-150s. Oh, wow. That looks to be a uh, regular cab long bed uh, base model here. So, the big, big thing with a parking lot like this, guys, we have to push the snow away from the vehicles and away from the building. It's going to be a bit tricky. But I think we have the right machine for the job, and that is a skid steer here. We got a snow wolf. This is a straight plow, but we do have the wings on either side, which should help us on out here. So why don't we hop in the cats, get it warmed up here. It's about 10 degrees out. And wow, look at that, guys. On my first start, this thing gets fired right on up here. That is super exciting here. Big fan of the cat skid steers. I definitely want to use these more in some upcoming videos here. But what I'm thinking, guys, I want to kind of first push the snow away from those uh, trucks here. I think that's probably going to be a little bit easier. And why don't we get going with that here. And I think using this type of plow over pickup truck for a dealership is just the way to go.
I'm doing a pretty good job here with the plow angled away, just trying to make sure we don't put too much snow up around these trucks because actually we have to get out the snow blower and uh, clear in between each truck here. That alone is going to take quite a bit of time, maybe an hour or two just uh, cleaning off all the trucks uh, and uh, going in between them. But for now, we just need to get the main parking lot opened up so the employees can come on in and help us on out here. And you guys can see, having a 10-foot plow like this really moves a lot of snow. Now they did ask us to only make a few piles here, one of which is going to be right where we're putting the snow right now and then the other pile is on the other side of parking lot because dealerships guys have so much truck inventory they need as much room as we can so we can't really be making piles every uh, single area here so we'll have to work around that but hey snow plowing is definitely a lot of fun here. Using a skid steer though I got the heat on and uh, I do have a headset on since it sometimes is a little bit louder here in the cab. But you guys can see, look at this. This plow is moving a lot of snow. Guys, I'm thinking I'm going to split the parking lot in half, so right about here, so everything on this half, I'm going to push to that far pile, and everything on this half, I'm going to push up to the pile behind us here. That way, uh, we aren't windrowing way too much, pushing big, big piles, and I think this is going to be the way to go here, but let me know, guys, if you do have any uh, cool ideas for upcoming videos. We have a lot of things in the works including more multiplayer, which I am super excited for. We've had a lot of fun so far this month, and there's a lot uh, coming this year and in the coming weeks. With dealerships having a smaller amount of inventory means there's more asphalt we're going to be plowing, but there's less vehicles we have to plow around here, which is uh, a really kind of beneficial, although uh, I would say this uh, parking lot would be full with 100 trucks if there was enough uh, trucks from the factory here, but there's still quite a, a bit of backlog in orders, and that's why the Ford dealership, you guys only see about two dozen pickup trucks. That is because they are just in such high demand, people just keep on buying trucks here. Even used trucks, there's a few on the lots. Those are also in high demand. This is where it gets a little bit tricky here. I actually have it in full scoop mode trying to push all this that we windrowed over here out uh, to the pile here. It looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. That is a huge, huge pile here. One thing the snow wolves do a pretty good job at is rolling the snow. Yeah, it looks like only one more pass here and then uh, this whole side of parking lot is cleared out. Now, I do have to work on each entrance, but other than that, uh, I have to get out the snow blower. Yeah. I definitely have to get bundled up for that. It is freezing out and there's a little bit of wind. This is a huge, huge snow pile, guys, we made here. I'm going to see if I can push it back just a little bit here. I might have to come back with the snowblower attachments because that is taking up quite a bit of the parking lot here. Wow, that's almost a 20 feet high. But let's get going on this side here. We're making really good progress. I do want to stop for lunch sometime, but I would like to get the Ford dealership uh, fully uh, plowed out.
Guys, I just have about the entire Ford dealership plowed out here. We made quick work with the cat skid steer. I just have a little bit of snow blowing to do here, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to put the camera down and get back to work. So until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.